For 66 years, the Faculty of Engineering has existed to train top-notch professionals in the disciplines of engineering and nuclear science through teaching and research. This journey has been marked by significant milestones. So we are talking about being one year into the university restructuring. This is just about bringing service closer to the people. We have our first customers as a student. We have our staff, we have our suppliers, we have our alumni and our numerous stakeholders. As the university marks its 67th graduation, the faculty prides itself in training over 8,000 engineers for the global workforce. I think it's given us a lot of um, impetus in the world. We are actually the top notch in the, within the, the country management levels, within the private sector, within the government sector. The faculty ranks among the top in the country and beyond, attributing this great success to extensive research and resourceful partnerships. We have uh, like the Department of Mechanical Engineering. They have some collaboration with Isuzu Kenya, whereby they are doing some body building. They are researching on the state-of-the-art materials, which are more versatile, cheaper in cost, and uh, long-lasting. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we are also returning to the communities. Yeah, to our society, as a university, what we have learned from here. Ultimately, the most uh, the take home here is collaborating with uh, other universities in Europe, in the US, also in Asia. I know currently we have some collaboration with uh, what we call MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Where we have come up with even another good program called Engineers Without Borders. They can come to the country, they go to the rural areas, they set up some projects, and again, there is, it is a universal mechanism, also where we have our students and staff exchange. Being a student at a Faculty of Engineering has helped me to grow both academically and socially. Owing the fact that uh, I am learning to become an engineer who will be able to serve the people of this country. And on the other side, you can talk about having met friends who we've come together and sought out solutions to projects that we work on. It has been something which has been renewing my mind and my soul. With the country making strides towards a digitalized future through industrialization and infrastructural development, the contribution of this faculty has never been more central. They you know, across all our field, we are talking about machine learning and, uh, and artificial intelligence. We have already started embracing that within our student population and the industry. Most of this infrastructure, you look at it, is quite modern. Even what you are having as we express, it is modern infrastructure. We link it with the industry, but then we have to think about the local content. You can't divert these students to just training them about, about robotics and the rest, but once they go out in the market, they find the rock content is talking about a hybrid situation. Instrumentation is very high, mechanization is very high. Yeah. So as we move into the sophistication point of view, the student can, uh, can serve globally, but then we appreciate technological-wise what we are having as a country. Again, as we serve this society.